okay. like worms, I just think I can't. Yeah, pretty gross. So snakes yeah. is my ultimate. Oh, yeah, absolutely, okay. I'm with you. So what I do enjoy about this show is that we're doing a lot of outdoor decorating yes. that I can do. Yes, I agree. This is top rated. Mm -hmm. I also grew up for about four years in Mexico. So oh, okay. I'm a huge fan of Talavera pottery. Mm -hmm. It's Mexican slash Spanish. Yep. Um, this is cool because just so everyone's clear, you're getting two of these. Getting choice up. Oh, is it a choice? It's a choice. Oh, I'm sorry. No okay, problem. So there you go. Um, one but, is the moon and the star. Would you get a moon and a star and a sun? That's three things in one. All hand yes. painted. Mm -hmm. um, one is our flower. Good to know. Which is like a big sunflower. And I do want to say they're on easy pay. Um, they're metal construction. You can use them indoors if you want to, but obviously yeah. this is garden day, so yes. we're doing outdoor decorating. Take me through it. Okay, so what you're getting is something that Plow and Hearth has created, and Plow and Hearth is a company out of Madison, Virginia. They create really cool items to help you add distinction and beauty to your garden, something that really you're just not going to find typically anywhere else. So they took that idea of Talavera pottery, which is a pottery that's very special to Mexico, a certain section of Mexico. In the 1600s, it was brought over by the Spanish monks and so it's these beautiful colors vibrant patterns and deep rich colors and these traditional icons of like the Sun and moon and star mm -hmm. and flowers and they made it out of metal so you don't have to worry about it chipping or cracking or peeling or anything and you've got beautiful textures I'm gonna tip it a little bit just so you can see all the dimension on there and the three dimensions and the embossing so that's what the Talavera wall art from Plow and Hearth is it's metal so that you can enjoy all the beauty of Talavera, but you've got it to be able to enjoy outside without the worry of breakage. And, the, you know, all of these, depending on which one you choose, they all come um, pre-cast with a hanger tab on yes. the back. And I will just say, though, we're showing it against the wall of a home. And if you have a pool, then that becomes like the backyard patio area. Yes. But you could even affix these to like if you have a grand big tree in the front yard oh, or sure. the back. Um, I just think they're beautiful and they're, they are hand painting. So I'm just checking out all of the symbolism and the colors and the, it's beautiful. And they really are gorgeous. You know, our customers have loved them for so many years because I, I think they're versatile. They're beautiful. Like you said, you could use them outside for sure. Plow and Hearth has designed them to put them on a shed, to put it in between your doors of your garage or out on your deck um, and where you have your siding and where you hang out with your patio furniture and so forth. I do want to let you know, if you're going to put um, it on like a fence or a shed or something, you can put a screw or a nail in there. If you're going to do it on siding like we have here, use those kind of hooks. This is how we're hooking it on here that are sticky that I command you to put them on with. So that will hold it on without destroying your siding. So I also like how you've done it kind of as an alternative to a wreath yep, on a door. Exactly. Right over my shoulder great here. Look. Isn't that great? Yeah, really great. Because I like doing something that's a little bit different. I agree. You know, so your front door, your back door, a really nice idea. I love that we have the sunflower there because have you seen the sunflower fields here in Chester County? Well, yes, and are our they? neighbors really? are so lucky that their entire front oh. hedge area yeah. is just wild sunflowers. Oh, they're and so cheerful sunflowers, and Sunflowers, yeah. there, there's some special meaning behind yeah. those for me, so I love them when I see them in Oh, bloom. nice. Yeah. I love them. So that kind of reminds me, you sort of see like the little sunflower seeds right in there, all the beautiful colors. Everywhere you see a break in the color here, that is textured. That's not just a painted black line right there. That's not just a painted white line. There's texture. Each one of those is um, like embossed right here. You can hear my fingernail yeah. kind of rubbing against that. So you've got lots of metal work in here, beautiful detail. And like you said, it's hand painted. Uh, they're just, beautiful. They are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I also will just tell you, if you've ever seen those, um, I don't know if we still sell them, but I think it was the Genie brand or someone used to have those suction, the suction hooks mm -hmm. with the little, you know what I'm talking about? I do. And there's others that we sell that are really cool anyway. Don't call me crazy, but I also like to hang wreaths and things like this over mirrors. So oh, if you were using idea. this to decorate indoors, Love it. over and a mantle, it or right, if you right had there. a mirror in a dining room over like a buffet, yeah. you could easily um, suction one of those hooks to the sure. mirror and then it, it would look very cool. It would. But if it we're would. talking about doing something different. Inside, I actually had the sun and moon hanging in my kitchen for yeah, a while. Totally. I have a yellow kitchen yeah. and so I loved it in there. It was bright. It was cheery. You know, imagine this on that empty space that you have on your fence line. You've got your beautiful flowers. Maybe you have, you know, Gerber daisies or you have lilies, yeah. but then your fence kind of looks boring right behind it. I always think that's kind of the forgotten space. And so it's nice to put something that's so easy and leave it up all year long, but it's beautiful. Well, you know what they say about fences. 
If they're not pretty, just decorate them. That's right. So yeah. um, guys, remember, you have your choice of the sun and the moon or the flower. And we have still so much to come if, like me, you love to decorate the outdoors in warm weather. So for instance, we already did a little decorating with the wind spinner.